just got back from hunting figures. Shopping bags, pretty fine, bitches. Look at me, I'm a geek. Tripping future waves, I will be copping. Figgy walk, small from legends. Dudes doing them reviews, fella. What's going on? It's your boy, that was do. And you know I got it, so subscribe. What's going on? It's your boy, that was do. Today we're doing another action figure review. Today we're going to be looking at... Marvel Legends series Spider-Man Superior Foes of Spider-Man Build a figure absorbing man Beetle figure I got this whole wave from Big Bad Toy Store along with the Red Onslaught wave Treated myself to a little income tax gift You know what I'm saying? Thank you baby <laughs> But before we get into this figure I want to take a look at the packaging real quick as you can see, same old packaging. Just this time is the Superior Foes of Spider-Man. On this side we have Speed Demon. On the other side we have Beetle. And on the back we have both of them with the Silver Man head. If you want to read, hit the like, I mean hit the pause button now. And it says, Obsessed with Personal Glory. These super-powered anti-heroes fight for any team that gets them ahead. And back to this glorious figure here. I gotta say, it's a simple figure, but it pops. I love the pixie, the pixie uniform. Um, I could definitely see this being reused for maybe another version of Wasp. Or even Squirrel Girl without the wings. You can add that on there and just give us some extra stuff. <clears throat> the wings also come from Wasp. They're just a different color. Nice pink color. And for some weird colors, man, the, the green and purple, the, these things pop. They work together. I love the way this figure looks in light. It looks really nice to me. Again, simple yet effective. The head scope is cool. I like that it's unique. It's not, not something we've seen before. Really like this, man. Now, if only we could get a regular Beetle, that would be great, but I'm not sweating it. We already got Ultimate Beetle, we got that Toy Biz Super Beetle, and now we got this one, which is cool. Man, I really like I really like how the wings look when, they, when they're this way. Stylized in the middle, it really pops, like nice pinkish. She got some yams on her. Huh? What do you think, guys? She got some nice yams. <clears throat> but I really like this figure a lot. Love the metallic purple we see on the top part of this figure. On the it looks metallic throughout, but it looks more <clears throat> to me metallic -y on the breast area and on the hands, the arms. It looks more metallic. Where <clears throat> this part, the lower torso and the legs and the forearms, to the forearms, the legs, and the, the lower torso, it seems to be made out of a, the plastic that color the purple plastic this figure is cool man look she's standing right now she's standing on one leg i love it huh. that's mad cool um but yeah standing on one leg the green on the leg seem to be the painted on the thing that's painted on here while the leg looks to be made of the purple plastic the pink plastic but i like it nice figure um, <clears throat> the f this figure has some quality control issues, <clears throat> like right here on the arm, the paint chipped off here and they didn't finish it up here. I don't know if you see that, it's not a big deal, you can't really spot it, but you see it right there where my thumb is, but it's okay. Um, the one thing I hate about this packaging that we, that they use for the figures, the cradles, um, tend to warp the legs so this leg on this this leg right here is warped and it's a hard time to stand there up but it kind of works in her favor because she could stand on one leg because of that warp you know so it, it kind of works but it kind of messes up the figure also um as far as articulation goes her head looks up a great amount to get into flight poses her head goes down a lot Head swivel side to side. She has hinged shoulders. No bicep swivel. Single joint and elbow and a swivel at the elbow. She has a wrist swivel and the, and the wrist is hinged so it does go forward and back. 
She has a diaphragm joint that functions as an ab crunch to an extent. Pivots side to side and swivels. She's dancing salsa. Her legs go out that much. She has an upper thigh swivel, double jointed knees, and her ankle goes down, up, and she has ankle pivot. I'm happy that these female figures are coming with uh, flat feet. Because when they make them with the heels or the wedges, they're a pain in the ass to stand up. Especially like the new Sharon Carter figure. But I really I really like this figure. It's a simple. Simple but <coughs> works very well. And again, I highly recommend this whole wave. So that's the review. Hit the like button if you're feeling it. Leave a comment. Subscribe if you haven't. She fell. Oh my god, she fell. So that's the review. Hit the like button if you're feeling it. Leave a comment. Subscribe if you haven't. Like my Facebook page, follow my Instagram and Twitter. You already know. It's your boy that was due. And I'm out. One.